Hi there, welcome to another Midweek Memo. In the great spy action movies, there's always a moment when the hero has to go undercover, and so they don the old black cap and the Ray-Bans to ensure that their true identity is hidden. I once had a case of mistaken identity myself. I found myself in the southwestern city of Rostov-on-Don in Russia. I took part in a rowing race and there were some journalists on the bank who interviewed me afterwards. The next day, after I'd been knocked out of the uh, rather unsuccessful regatta for me, I was accosted by someone in the park saying, hang on, you're John, aren't you? You're a member of the British royal family. Uh, it seems that uh, our rather enthusiastic journalists had decided to slightly spice up my story, not only by showing my talking head on local television, but by suggesting that I was related to the king. I'm not, just for clarity's sake. Who are we, truly? What is our true identity? That's something we've been thinking about in our evening services, and if you've missed them, I'd encourage you to go back and have a listen to the first three in our four-part series on identity. We're exploring what it means to be truly ourselves. For us as Christians, we get our identity in Christ. We are who we are in him. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says this, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. In Christ or Christ in us, both ways of expressing the same amazing idea that as Christians we have our identity from being united with the Lord Jesus. I wonder what it's going to look like for you this week to remind yourself to find your identity in Christ. Well, sometimes it's just a case of being reminded of who you are. And to help you with that, we've put together some wonderful little resources. They're screensavers for your phone that remind you who you are in Christ. You can see them down in the description below. Download them and get, you, get them onto your device and encourage yourself that way. Do join us again this Sunday evening for the last in our series to hear more about what it means to live out our identity in Christ. A couple of notices to share with you. First of all, mayhem. And there's really three bits to this. First of all, we would love you to come and volunteer. If you haven't yet signed up to volunteer, there are loads of different jobs. Get yourself signed up for that uh, to be able to be there on the 27th to the 29th of July and the 31st of July. If you can only do one of those days, that's absolutely fine. A great way to serve at our holiday club for primary school aged children. Of course, we also want people to come and join us there. So please do sign up your kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, anyone you think would love to come and enjoy some fun, come and learn more about the Lord who created us and has saved us. Get those invites out, uh, links down in the description for that. And one new thing that we're doing this year, which I just want to highlight, on the 29th, that's the third day, we've got Youth Mayhem in the evening. A great thing to invite older kids along to also enjoy part of that. So that's Mayhem. Second thing I want to share with you is our Ascension Day service, 8 p.m. on Thursday evening, uh, tomorrow evening. We'd love you to join us at the Ascension Day service. It'll be a traditional kind of service here in church. And finally, I'd love to just say a couple of things about the jobs that we're recruiting for. Please do pray for us as we are uh, interviewing today for our operations manager and thinking about who we appoint to that role. We continue to have open two roles, the families coordinator or families pastor and also our children's pastor. Um, it's a, a difficult market out there. We've got loads of jobs, not many people in the sector. So we're really, really praying that we get the right person for this job. Please do join me in praying for that, thinking about who you think might apply and committing all of that to the Lord. Thanks so much for joining us.